across the sun. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three. Good morning. My name is Steve Burwagger. When Becky called me a few weeks ago and asked me to talk about the nudge that inspired and moved me to become involved in discipleship, it dawned on me that my experience was somewhat different. I didn't have any magic moment, if you will. I didn't have a wilderness experience, nor did I wrestle with angels, nor did I have a bright light vision. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that shortly after birth, my loving and caring parents and family and friends nudged me by exemplifying the love of Christ. While growing up, if the church doors were open, I was always there. Some of you may have had that same experience. I had a wonderful youth leader, good Sunday school teachers, loving and caring pastors, and was introduced to a wonderful music program and had a circle of friends that was second to none. My life experiences taught me the true meaning of the verse in Hebrews 13. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for in so doing, some have entertained angels unaware. Yes, as I look back, I had many angels in my life who nudged me and gave me the love and support that I needed to get involved in the ministry of the church. And as I look around this morning, I see some of those angels even here today. And these angels helped to keep my cup filled to overflowing so I could continue sharing the love of Christ and continue being involved in his work. Then in college at Taylor University, after watching the movie In His Steps and reading about the Sammy Morris story, I recognized there was more to Christianity than faithfully attending church and being good. I not only needed to share my time, but also my talents and my income. How did that impact my life in the ministry of the church? Well, over the course of my lifetime, I have been involved in almost everything there was to do in the church to share my faith and the love of Christ. Being actively involved in discipleship enriched my life. That involvement and ministry continues for me here at First Church as I continue to sing in the choir and morning song at the 8.30 service. I fill in when needed in handbells, teach Sunday school, care for the elderly, and use the bank drop draft opportunity for my giving, eliminating the temptation to spend the money somewhere else, which is easy to do. Why do I do it? Several reasons. God has blessed me with the gifts to do so. My angels keep inspiring and nudging me, and I claim that verse in Philippians 1.21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. A song that has inspired my life and continues to do so is titled, We Have This Moment Today. Verse 3 is especially meaningful to me. Tender words, gentle touch, and a good cup of coffee. Someone who loves me and wants me to stay. Hold them near while they're here, and don't wait for tomorrow to look back and wish for today. So don't neglect opportunities and wait for tomorrow to get involved. Think about getting involved today. Yesterday is gone, and tomorrow may never come, but we have this moment today. So I encourage you, if you are involved, continue your involvement using the gifts God has given to you. And for those who have been thinking about it, get involved in discipleship, continuing to share the love of God and the truths in His Word, and experience the blessings He has in store for you. Thank you. Jesus comes again.